Welcome back, it's your guy Engineer Mojo with another car tutorial video. Today we are working on a 2020 Ford Expedition XLT 3.5 liter V6 and we're doing an oil change. As always, full tool list is displayed on the screen and also in the video description down below. Let's get started. First, you want to locate your hood latch on the driver's side just to the left of your foot. Pop that, that will open your hood. From there, you can locate your oil cap that's situated just to the top right of your engine. As you see here in the video, it also displays right on the oil cap the type of oil you should use. I don't take this off, but I do loosen it and allow air to pass through. That allows your oil to drain faster, but it keeps out the foreign contaminants from inside your engine. Now you can locate the protective shroud that's covering the oil pan. This is held down by four eight millimeter bolts. I'll point out one of those right now. You can see where I'm pointing and you'll find those distributed around the perimeter of this felt cover. With the four bolts unscrewed, that slides right away. Next, we can locate the oil drain plug. It's located adjacent to the passenger side tire. From here underneath the car, you can see my camera. I'm shimmying, shimmying, shimmying from the driver's side over to the passenger side. You see the transmission case that's right above me. I'm keep going to my right to the passenger side. I'm placing my catch can in place. As you'll see, I keep shimmying to the right and you'll see eventually here the oil drain plug bolt. You want to use a 15 millimeter socket to remove that. It's right there where I'm pointing. Easy to get to, very good access. I use a socket and socket wrench, 15 millimeter, to loosen the bolt. When it's loose, I don't take it all the way out yet. I use my hand to finish the rest. I put on some gloves so I don't burn myself. And I put the catch can in place to catch the arc of the oil as it spills out. I slowly loosen, slowly loosen until it's ready to drain out. Total time to drain is about three to five minutes if the engine is already pre-warmed. After the oil has drained, now you can reinstall the oil drain plug bolt that goes in righty tighty and the torque spec for that is 20 foot pounds. If you don't have a torque wrench, that is not the end of the world. 20 foot pounds is relatively light. So that's essentially snug tight. You want to tighten the bolt down. And as soon as you can't really tighten it down with light pressure on your socket wrench, maybe go another uh, eighth inch turn or so. And that's about it. You should be good. After tightening the bolt, usually I'll go back and wipe down wherever oil has spilled just to do a general cleanup. And then I move on to the oil filter replacement. The oil filter is easy to locate. If you go from the front of your car near the passenger side, you go underneath, you look to the right, you'll see the oil filter, the black filter in my video. Now Ford looked out for us. They supplied a channel that directs all the oil to the right of the car to the driver's side so you can put your catch can there that comes off lefty loosey and you're good to go for that one before reinstalling the new oil filter you want to lightly grease the rubber gasket that's located on the oil filter before you install when you install righty tidy and usually i'll go three quarter turn past snug just to make sure it's secure but not too tight with the oil drain plug torqued down and your oil filter secured in place now it's time to fill up the engine with oil as a reminder, this takes six quarts of 5W30 oil. Six quarts, that's all you need, and you're good to go. At about five quarts, I'll take a peek at the oil indicator dipstick just to see where the engine oil level is within the engine, just as a back check. If you don't know how to use a dipstick indicator, it's really easy. You will find two dots on your dipstick, the top dot indicating full at six quarts. The bottom dot is about a quart less than six quarts. So you wanna get somewhere in between there. With the oil level checking out, I'll reinstall the oil cap and I'll also go underneath the car and let the engine run for about two to five minutes or so just to see if there are any leaks, anything that I can pick up really quickly before I install the cover plate on the bottom of the vehicle. With that said, this install is over. I appreciate your view. Hopefully it was very helpful. If you have any tips, tricks, or comments, please comment down below. It'd be much appreciated as always. Also, if you appreciated my abbreviated style of tutorial making, please like the video. That's a wrap folks. Catch you on the next video. I'm out.